Hello everybody, my name is Azure Simulation and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today in this video, um, I'm going to be showing you guys my settings for 2020 uh, in within Roblox Studio and within the Roblox platform. So yeah, a lot of people have been asking me what my settings are, my plugins, etc. So today I will be walking you guys through what I use uh, to make my videos that I make on my channel. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoy and um, yeah, let's get straight into the video. First, I'm going to be showing you guys my settings and then I'll also give you an overlook of my plugins. So yeah, let's get, you also see me checking OBS sometimes, like. So first let's go to game options. I didn't really change game options. Uh, I've just left them how they are. Uh, video quality, I just, just, I've left this how they are. Lua, I don't really do scripting, so I don't really change this. Uh, diagnostics, uh, this, just, I, I've, I've left it how it is, I've just activated this, so I, it just helps me with doing a little bit of scripting and stuff. Physics, I've not, I've not really messed around with this, uh, it's just, you can, it's just the physics in the game, so for example, if you want to show, if if you want to see if the block is anchored, then you would go into here, here, and then anchors shown, and restart later, and normally it should show, but, you know, it's like, it's not activated yet, because you need to restart studio, ah, there, you see, it's anchored down to the floor, so yeah, I, j I just turn that off because it annoys me when I'm building. Um, I've left that how it is, uh, allow sleep, yeah, sure, default, physics, environment, oh yeah, studio, now this is where I've done all my, all my stuff, so let's start from the top, camera speed, don't mess around with this, mouse wheel speed, don't mess around with any of this, because it will just mess your studio up, Default script uh, file, so um, plugins DIR, so you don't want to change these here, but um, you can change this one here if you really wish. Uh, it's just it's just where your um, where your uh, files are for the uh, assets and stuff. Uh, always save script uh, changes. Uh, I normally have that enabled. I just turned it off because it was annoying me at one point. So basically, it will it will just it's in the name. It will just save all of your scripts, uh, so you don't lose anything. Basic object display mode vertical. Just I don't mess around with that. Render throttle percentage. I don't. Uh, it's just it's just how fast the the for example the thingies will render them. The models or the meshes, language English, yeah. Uh, theme, I just put it on dark because the rest is just ugh. It's just ugh, so bright, and you can't see. So you know, it's like having the sun in your eyes. Uh, hover animation speed, I don't really. Uh, you know, I don't really mess around with that, I just put it onto medium. Ah, okay, so select color. Uh, as you can see, when I, when I put a block down and I hover over it, it does, um, it does purple and then green. So you're going to want to come in here and just mess around with these. So purple and green, select color is green and hover color is... Um, is a purple or pink or whatever so what it will do is that when you've selected a block it will um, the the color here will be green but then there will also be the hover color over it that will flash which will do the flash tech the flash uh, animation on here it's, it's hard to explain active hover over color I 
don't I didn't mess around with that active color I didn't mess around with that either fonts uh, that's just the fonts of your um, of uh, you can change the font if you want so for example I'll just put it to Beavis new there now your fonts will be Beavis new when you uh, restart studio tab width didn't do that text wrapping nah it's ugly show white spaces nah uh, rulers rulers can be used but it's just I don't really use them I'll I'll try it actually full mount type don't mess around with that these are your script colors so uh, I just have the background color to black and uh, the text color to white but you can also change all of this stuff if uh, to, to your heart's content you know there's so many colors um, permission level shown game Roblox uh, Roblox game you, you know don't mess around with that select hover color um, this is just like primary parts don't really touch that. and then to be honest that's all now let's go on to network um, I don't mess around with this don't touch this it's really complicated rendering so I have my render quality to 15 when I'm recording uh, but when I'm editing I have it up to 21 uh, quality level I have it down to 10 because I just don't really care about this I just have it down to 10 I don't really use it uh, eager eager book execution uh, I found that it lagged my game my studio so I just turned it off uh, this I turned it off because same reason lag uh, this as well auto frame rate level I found that the, the um, 60 works well for me 60 FPS works for me uh, no FRM level it's just the it's a, it just works for me uh, reload assets just, that just bugs your game so much uh, graphics mode so there are a lot to choose here you can choose Volk run uh, OpenGL and stuff but just choose a recent one which is direct 3d11 uh, frame rate manager turn that off because it will just mess be it will just try uh, make your frames the highest possible and uh, lag your PC out uh, mesh cache size just leave that how it is it's set to your studio or your PC size uh, task scheduler don't really mess around with that okay so now that we you've done that uh, my uh, studio uh, tour like my what I've got on here so I've got my properties here I've got my explorer here my toolbox here and then I also have my uh, terrain editor uh, on the bottom here so you know I just select it and stuff I like to have it off sometimes and just have the, the terrain editor like that it doesn't really annoy me that I've got like that there um, next game settings you need to publish your game uh, here I don't really you know this is just the view of your studio test uh, don't really mess around with that it's just this to mute the audio in game and stuff constraints uh, never put never activate these two here because it will create welds and it will just it will lag your game when you join the game anchor you know what that is group lock yeah Effects, you know what that is spawn. It's just to create a spawn. Um, insert object. It's just you've got all your objects here. I also use this. Like you just, you just drag it in. As you can see, just drag it in. Uh, model. Uh, I don't really use that. It's just to import models. Uh, you know, just import your model in through this. Or you just go into your file and then uh, drag it into your studio services. It's really just like it's really just useless to be honest. Just double click on Teams and and stuff. This you don't really need. <coughs> this you don't really need here. A run script is just to test your script out, see if there's any uh, my functions or stuff like that. Collision groups that it's in the name. Module script. These are how these are to insert scripts. So you can insert a module script and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. 
Um, next, I've got my plugins. So I, I share my plugins a lot on uh, on streams because people ask me a lot. But um, so I have uh, like animation editor, the basics here, rig builder, uh, terrain mesh. I don't use this. Don't use this. I use this. This is how I make the pattern on my base plate here. Just click it and it inserts a texture, <coughs> which uh, which is the texture here. Pathfinder Maker, I don't use this, I don't use these two here, they're broken. Don't use this, I use this to make cars, so uh, like you just, just, it's easier to make cars with. Just, you, so for example, you've got two blocks here, uh, with Roblox Studio you can't do it, just it sizes it like this, whereas with um, with building tools by Freex, all these plugins will be listed down in my uh, in my Discord, by the way. So make sure to join my Discord. As you can see, it sizes them like this and like this and stuff, and it's really useful for making roads uh, and stuff like that and cars. <coughs> Next, you've got this. Uh, don't really use this; it breaks my studio sometimes. This as well; it breaks my studio, as as you can see. Um. Archie Meads, I uh, can't really, I don't know how to pronounce it to be honest. Um, I'd use this for cars, roads, buildings, and everything to be honest. This is for Guri's. Uh, I use this for trucks, fire trucks and stuff. Virus Destroyer, it's really useful, It's just it just scans for viruses. This is just, you know, you can do that and that and stuff. It's Celestial Body Dragger. Uh, traffic Signals. I use that in Vancouver. So when I'm making the traffic signals and stuff like that, create new. Three directions. Uh, you know, and then place new signal and stuff like that. And yeah. Uh, I don't use this, I don't use that, and I don't use this here. Uh, this I don't really use, Roundify, I don't really use it, because it just adds parts, and I don't like adding parts, but it just round, rounds your parts, I think. I think it rounds your part. I can't really remember, to be honest. <coughs> Import your desired uh, toggle with border, select a UI element, click around a fire. Oh, it's for GUIs, okay. Forgot what it was for. And now it broke my studio. I think it just broke my studio. Uh, right, around a five there. Next is my 3D text editor. It's the same as, um, <coughs> sorry. I think I'm losing my voice actually. Um, it's the same as the other one. I can't, I can't remember where it is. But it's the same as the other one, this one here, it's the same as this one, so you just place text and then as you can see here, except this one's more up to date. So you activate your cursor and you know. It's better I guess. Part to terrain, I use this a lot. Just click and then you terrain, you get terrain. Resize a line, I explained this in my um in my stream, but you just it's better than um <coughs> It's better than um, uh, parts, the gap fill, because it just it it fills in the parts. Except here, I can't I can't really do it because the parts not like facing, like, you know, it's glitched. Uh, mini map creator, do not download this. It is bad, like really bad. Don't use this, bad as well. Don't use this. Don't use this. Don't use this. Uh, I use this for GFXs, uh, just loading your character and stuff. It's called uh, load character. Build v4. I don't really use this. I only use it for like creating terrain and stuff. And then tags. I don't use this. I only use it when I'm scripting with Stu, which is like rarely. So yeah. And yeah, that's it to be honest for my plugins. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to join my Discord. Uh, if you have, uh, if you, um, 
if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and um, like the video. And yeah, again, make sure to join my Discord if you have any questions, and you can come talk to me if you would like. I'm active on my Discord 24-7. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then smash that like button, um, subscribe, and yeah, see you all in the next one. Goodbye.